uh, take uh, you with my discourse or with my you know, presentation. I think I have about, uh, 45 minutes now. Uh, 11, we will close it. I'll uh, keep the pace like this. I will uh, first uh, talk to you people. I don't know how interactive it can be. Uh, but yes, this is one thing which, uh, which we have to do now in the current situation. And at last, if we can take some questions for maybe five, five minutes or 10 minutes, we, I'll, I'll try my level best to give you time for that. So it will be more or less me talking and you listening. Uh, uh, and uh, my apologies in the case if it is too much of me talking and you, you listening. So first, uh, this the first slide which I use it, generally this word is quite fascinated me from my childhood, it is called Invictus. Uh, the meaning is uh, unconquered. Actually, it is a poem. I don't know, most of you would have read it or maybe after this, maybe we'll be Googling it and try to find out what it is. When I was a kid, uh, this, this poem was came in times of India. Uh, I'll not say how, when, what. But the last few lines were very, uh, you know, uh, uh, very good. And it, 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 it is in my mind even till date. And the last two lines were, I am the master of my mind and I am the captain of my fate. Now, these two things are quite crucial in this current context where we are sitting and we are trying to figure out a lot of uncertainty, confusion, anxiety. Uh, but yes, this is a tough time. Beauty of our tough time, all good time, times are it passes on, it, it moves on. And one day, everything will be known. Uh, in different uh, communication, different speeches, people are finding out or, or discussing about that what will be the new normal, right? But after this is passe, the only memories which will be there with you is during this tough time, how we behaved, how we took it, and how we engaged ourselves and what we became in this tough time, right? So this is uh, you know, the, the story of Invictus, and I have a page on Facebook also on the same name. Uh, do try to visit in the case if you have time. So on that. Uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Captain Pranav. Uh, come have an experience of, from Indian Army. Uh, I was a captain there and uh, was leading one of the artillery regiments. And coming there in my uh, 15 years with the corporate, I have learned a lot. And what today we will talk will be a mix of both. I will not give you gyan or something. I'll just give you in the in my you know uh, session of life, whatever 15, 20 years of this working uh, time, what I have, what I learned, and how it is helping me. I know that such discussions, even if if 10%, if you carry on with you, and if your tough times, if you remember these 10%, would be quite sufficient. And I will be quite happy in the future some way if we connect and someday you will tell me that, yes, we connected during these tough times. And these are the few things which I remember still in your uh, talk or in your discourse, whatever you give. So uh, take it uh, to, to make it a bit light and simple. I have a few cartoons which I uh, you know, uh, thought that I should be bringing to you. Students, uh, when we were kids, of course, we used to love it. So this is um, you know, uh, two kids talking about that what our summer vacation after summer vacations or after this, after COVID times are over, what what will be the life will be about, and what you will be doing post that? So I hope everyone is thinking about it. And this is uh, if someone is asking you in your family that what happened in school or college or wherever, we say, come on, go and read my blog. It is already there, or whatever we have kept it. Maybe this video, maybe when you'll be telecasting it to all the students. And uh, maybe also this in the current context, if someone says that, okay, uh, did you check? Uh, the homework or the classwork or whatever given, and someone tells that, okay, uh, try texting the, the student or the kid, and the kid will tell you that what is the status of the homework. And this is for the lecturers who have joined. We keep on uh, you know, complaining about our cubicles. Uh, you have, this is my cubicle, what you see around me. Uh, and uh, your cubicle have, I don't know, today starting with about 100 plus students. And if Dr. Gurinder, Gurinder says about 17,000 students, so that's how your cubicle looks like. So quite difficult and I can understand. Uh, I also gave tough time to my teachers when I was a kid and I hope you guys are coping well in this tough time. So keeping it simple uh, to, to make uh, you smile, put some, some smiles on your faces. Uh, these things which I Googled in the morning thought that I should bring to you. Now uh, taking it further from here uh, and uh, what I was told is uh, first invest on yourself is what the topic given. Uh, and the first line rather was opportunity to upskill. Now, when I started as a prelude, yes, this is a time when I mentioned it is quite difficult, it is, it is quite tough, and uh, we all are figuring out what to do, what not to. Uh, 
sitting in home uh, at, at the house for about uh, a month plus it's not an easy game and we are not used to but we all together are figuring out this work from home mechanism and trying to think that everything is normal everything is fine and tomorrow after whenever we meet we meet in higher lands and things will be better but the entire investment but the entire upskilling of what we do at this time becomes quite crucial for us to take a plunge tomorrow when the things are okay okay and normal now i know that when we spoke, when i started with a lot of uncertainty and lot of anxiety will be there in in you and uh, if i take uh, if i'm able to take some questions i'll be so happy to answer you on those fronts but how do you lead your life in this time uh, it it i'll try my level best that it should not be monotone it should not be me talking but with some examples with some anecdotes which i have in my life i'll try my level best to invest it and that it it, it It is light and easy for all of us, all of you, to understand. So, in, in in this entire scenario, one thing is common is you. You means I, you, the professor sitting there. Everyone is sitting in their own anon anonymity, in their own anonymity, and try to figure it figure it out. And this tough time is what are you and how can you, as the 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 person in this entire mechanism, try to fight it? Right now, there are few things. Few people who are leading it. Like the doctors, uh, 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 the the sanitation workers, we're well, there on the guard. But for us in this scenario, what we are and what we can do is just we can stay in the in, in the house and do a little bit of deliberation. I'll say, do 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 a little bit of introspection. So to start with you now, what is you which you are and the you which I am thinking what you are or let's say me, what am what I am and what are you thinking what I am and what is the the me which should be. now such interactions uh, the academia and the uh, the industrial uh, or the corporate interactions try to bridge those gaps now there is one you which is uh, the the free flowing college going kid and who is trapped in this scenario right my sympathy is with all of you and then what the corporate wants you to be in the future now uh, uh, the more we talk last time i could uh, uh, get an opportunity to visit your gurgaon campus and uh, students wherever you go you are you are you are same you all are same right? but when i figure it out one thing in, in all of you which is very common is there is you which is absolute you uh, which is there and there is one thing which is what we require out of you when you come to the corporate now there is a subtle gap and these gaps have to be filled with this inform these informative and you know interactive sessions uh, which we try to bring uh, bring about uh, for all of you now this uh, uh, what to say that is that the thing which we want is superior or what you are is is comfortable this is a big debate now there is nothing which i am telling you know, your existence is no 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 what i am telling you is today what i feel is what i am or what you are and what you ought to be or what you will be you know uh, 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 thought of to to become in the future these are based on small collective uh, you know uh, inputs from everyone uh, the corporate uh, you know uh, the, the way you know, the spiritualism the universe the way it is coming uh, going so these small you know uh, inputs from everything makes the you which ought to be so currently a you which you are there a you which i want you to make when you come to the corporate and the you which you should be now these are subtle things small things i want you to uh, to uh, just you know go deep into it and try to figure it out and every one of us whatever we do tomorrow whatever we uh, we achieve or we not achieve is a sum of these small expectations which rather i'll say is put in all of us by the the uh, the person whom we are and the person whom we are expected to be and now these close times uh, these times of nothingness these times when you are completely with you is a time of deliberation is a time of thinking that is there any gap number one and if there is a gap how we will fill this these gaps okay so these are the things which uh, which uh, i i want to uh, you know put in your mind uh, start thinking about it if you have not started thinking about it start thinking about it now in that thing the first thing which comes into picture is the purpose with this entire anxiety and uncertainty tomorrow the job market opens uh, you will have your own you know areas of interests 
I cannot guarantee or I cannot vouch from the corporate point of view how much time will it take, how uh, how comfortable it, is, it, it, it will be, how uncomfortable it would be. But one thing which I tell you today is, have you found your purpose? The purpose is not to get a job or, or to get some, some salary or or maybe to, to buy the car, which, which you had always been thinking of. Purpose is a long, far-fetching goal. It is a journey. And uh, in our organization, which is a common fad these days, we make the vision and mission statements of, of the company. And which is not that, which is not a number or, or some status which you will achieve. It is, it is continuity. It is continuum. It carries on. Now, I had made uh, yesterday night, I, I, I was thinking about that, how, uh, how can I, maybe my second last slide, we'll talk a little bit on that, uh, on that, that it will, it will uh, be putting the entire scenario in a simple form to you. But one question I want to ask, ask from all of you in this time, when you have enough of you with yourself, is start thinking on your purpose. Now, that purpose can be so many things, right? So uh, taking it from there, so one, my ask and my urge from all of you, and this I mention in every you know, academia, any college, I am IIT, wherever I go is, have you found your purpose? If not, please do that, right? Uh, internalize, start thinking that why you are there in this world and what you want to do. Now, there are some plus points which will be very clear. We, we, we find out maybe we are good enough, uh, we are blessed enough that things are, might be clear, things might not be clear, right? But the much time you invest yourself in this uh, time where you have too much of you, right? Uh, it will drive you somewhere. If not to the place, not the purpose, but maybe the semi-purpose of life you might get. So that is point number one. The point number two is, I know it is it is a bit heavy, but I'm, I'm trying my level with, I have to draw you know, some points also that, that becomes that you have to, carry on something from this discussion which we are doing today. Point number two is, what are your principles? What are the ethics? Uh, once you get the why, and then you have to get the what. On what are the things my principles in life might differ from your principles of life, but few principles are the principles of life which exists, like integrity, like truth, like commitment, like loyalty, right? Uh, like, uh, you know, being, uh, if you, I don't know if you, if you taught this or not, the Maslow's law somewhere, and beyond the self-actualization, there was nothing. Now, self-actualization, you know yourself. The things end there. But nowadays, if you Google it, beyond self-actualization, there is something called transcendence, which is making someone better than you. Now, this word transcendence, again, is after Invictus, which has hit me quite hard. And I, I try my level best, whatever I can do. For example, even this session, if I can touch these hundred plus people and try to make an iota of difference in their life, I will be happy sitting somewhere. And if you guys, you know, tomorrow would be doing great wonders. I like remember that in one session, you know, I was taught this and I still remember this, right? It will be, it will be great for me. But I have to invest, of course. I have to invest this time. This is a working day for me and I have to invest this one hour in all of you. I have to think about that whatever I talk, uh, be even not be uh, comfortable with this, you know, uh, way of talking where I cannot see any one of you, uh, any, any speaker, any talker, the, the audience and their expressions and their, their twinkle in their eyes is what we feed at. But today I cannot do, I cannot see any one of you and, and it is not me, me talking and, and you listening. But if I have my intentions clear for you, and if you carry these small portions in your life wherever you go, and if, God forbid, if any time, if, if we are alive, and then if you tell me that, okay, these points made difference in my life, that will be the thing of transcendence, which I will be achieving it through you, right? So this is the second thing which I try to mention, the principles. And the third thing is perseverance. Never die at it. If you are very clear with the purpose, if your concepts and ethics are quite strong, quite vetted, you're living them, right? And then don't leave it. So if I give to you some examples, uh, college life is a life which is quite, quite pink and, and blue and, and uh, colorful. And uh, we all uh, fall in love. Yeah, and that's how uh, it is. So uh, with this entire studying and, and career making business, if we found that question, that real soulmate, right? And if you know why you are following it, it's not by the looks or by the, by the good time what we have, it is, it is the purpose of maybe togetherness. That is one person who is, who is the best and who is whatever, and your principles and everything is intact. Now, one thing is 
you have to chase it and you have to get it these things have to be the don't quote me anywhere that there was some guy who spoke and that is the reason i'm i'm chasing them or no 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 i'm telling you just a perception if you have if you got the why and the what then you have to you know de- uh, define your house of life and you have to chase it and you have to get it small things uh, big senses uh, whenever maybe you are playing the video try to think about these small things which i mentioned and which this picture talks about this is your hand and say whatever you do in your life is is with your hand and that's how it is that the strength lies in this uh, uh, the the your entire efficiency lies here right now it says you are the creator of your own destiny always remember this many times and tough times things are not working good once you come to the corporate things will be further today you have a lot of people to think about you be with you in the worst scenarios you will have people to talk so then you will find after some time you have no one there. maybe the things will start shrinking all these hundred all friends what you have will start shrinking shrinking in small whatsapp groups and maybe sometime some saturday or sunday when we're sitting alone you'll find you have no one is the you which is sitting you know how strong it is and can that you be with you throughout your life many people have got get uh, are stressed in this world get in lot of topsy turvy things doesn't have you uh, know happen good and they succumb and they give up now this strong you which we are making together if it is strong enough will help you get over these tough times either it is maybe a loss of a family member a loss of a business or loss of a relationship maybe these pink good times which you are seeing in college might not happen tomorrow right and then what this the you which is there inside pushes you takes care of you and 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 protects you cares for you is what is the time to think about so you are the creator of your own destiny and keep this point very clear in your mind and ladies and gentlemen you are amazing never ever forget that, right people will come to you and it will be happening academy it happens many a times when professors get spoiled and tell you you're good for nothing you're not good one i remember when i was a small kid and uh, we have uh, we had a uh, i don't know that you have these days or not we used to have moral science class and uh, i don't remember maybe i was in first grade second grade something when teacher used to come and tell you guys good for nothing you know you guys keep on shouting this is not the way the class looks like and all and in the moral uh, science uh, examination we had a question once that write uh, five good qualities which you have and because we were so much you know pushed every day that you guys are good for nothing you guys are idiots and whatever so i wrote very categorically very clear and candid i have no good qualities what my class teacher used to tell me all of us and uh, uh, by luck or whatever my mom used to be a teacher there and it became a big uh, issue uh, the thing was brought to my mom and told that maybe this guy is got some stress or maybe he is uh, uh, some psychotic issue this guy is, uh, this guy has got he is having an inferiority complex for himself i was called by the principal as called by the so called the so i was called by the teacher as called by the principal and told the kid what is the issue or is everything fine and all those you know a psychologist and everyone was called i told yeah everything is fine but then uh, they asked me that why you wrote this i told i wrote this because in my moral science classes my teacher comes and tells me that you guys are good for nothing and i think i was i was candid enough i should write the truth and then everyone started laughing and also uh, there will be many people in your life who will come and tell you you are good for nothing but everyone is beautiful everyone is amazing in their own ways and never ever forget that never have a, a, a great opinion about yourself and great opinion comes from a lot of hard works which you do right that remains with you that remains with you throughout right the first thing which you say and which is start an army and if you meet an army guy they many times uh, in 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 the subtle way what we talk is we say that okay civilians you know army and the civilians the rest of us it is quite derogatory sometimes but that pride comes from the training what we get and the training which we carry it is so it makes us so huge because the training is is provided to you that tomorrow if such something happens to you on the other side of the border you should have the survival and uh, you know uh, capability and that makes it that the pride in an army officer if you meet him anywhere or a para commando or any person who is there in forces the pride comes from the training what you undergo and it is not only that i'm specifically telling about sector people whatever the pride within which any one of us has depends on what sort of training or what sort of focus which you have given on yourself in your life 
So that becomes very important for you. If you have not discovered your the points of life, the qualities, please discover them and know that you are amazing in your own great ways. Have good pride in you. That is very important. Otherwise, I'm telling you, there are enough people sitting in this world to bring you to shambles and tell you that you are nothing. After the school days, college days are over, there is something in the world which you'll find is called competition. And one form of competition is to create stress. And then someday you'll find that everyone is running in, in the pace which you are just following and you're just lacking behind somewhere. You are not what you ought to be. But when, once you have to internalize and say that, no, you are amazing in your own ways. A simple thing, easily said, very difficult to comprehend. Point number two. Next, okay, now if you know all these things, then, oh my God, now what should I do? That's very important. Most of the lives, okay, uh, in our lives, we feel that, yes, we are great. Uh, we know what to do. We have our purpose in life. But how to do that? Very right questions, isn't it? Yes, maybe. Yeah. And this many times you will find, you know, yourself trapped in. Like today, when we are discussing this point, a lot of people will be thinking what to do next. Also, when you are there in corporate, in the midlife, there's something which, is, which hits you somewhere around 35 to 40 years, 40 years, as I'll say, which is called midlife crisis. And say, what next? And uh, again, these are the, the times uh, we, we, where you have too much of you. You can start fixing, drawing those. Uh, I had a great friend, no, I had not mentioned his name. He has defined his areas of life very clearly, where he will be, what he will be. And he was showing me one day, and I told him, okay, with a lot of convictions you put in, but life is all about uncertainty. No one, no one had ever in their life in 2020 had guessed that this earth will be will be hit by COVID-19 and will will not know. New normals will be defined. So fine, you define it, whatever you are, whatever you want to do, but don't be sent too sentimental about it. Sometimes you lose some, sometimes you, you, you win some, sometimes you, you lose some. It's okay. Don't have very high, great opinion about you. One is pride is different thing. Yes, this is what I, I am. The second thing is having great opinion about you and, and take, making others inferior thinking that they are inferior. When I say pride, it is only limit to, limited to yourself. Don't think that others are inferior. Don't do that. And don't have great opinion about you. Sometimes you might be treated as so bad, as shit. But you should be strong enough to take it. You will find rejection. will happen now. The first thing which will happen, to define your friends and non-friends. You will, in, in Facebook you have, right? You, know, you, you block some, unfriend some. People thought about it, and that is the reason those buttons were made. So when you sit in the interviews, you'll find the right thing. Few people will get the job, few people will not. You'll find something called rejection. Those pink, beautiful, rainbow days of life. And finally, when the thing comes for commitment, you'll find rejection. You'll start working in a job maybe which you are not very keen to work with. And uh, you were thinking of some promotion or maybe some, some you know, overseas assignment, and it will not happen. Rejection. But how you behave in these rejections will define what you are and what your profile is, the heaviness, the density, right? So uh, taking it further from here, okay, now I know that what, what I am and what, but what, what should I do? One thing in life, Jay German, I tell you, it's quite simple, is keep on breathing, keep on being happy. Easy said, difficult task. Things will not happen. Can you still laugh? Now in life, I'll tell you, uh, uh, one of my friend. Uh, uh, she has uh, given me uh, this concept a few days back, which I could see. Uh, one is the rational self, which we have, right? Which talks about the, the complete who is, who is figuring out that, okay, uh, if not, we are having a classroom study, what next we do and a rational self, right? And we should copy and someone is writing from the notes and someone is following us on is strongly making what next entrepreneurship everything is happening in your mind currently and there is something which is called instant gratification monkey in all of us someone is think, thinking very deep inside sitting inside us and thinking that okay when this is over and when can i go and check inside the fridge that what is there lying there can i have a bite of it right or can i go and check some uh, you know uh, 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 my movie or, or some serial is coming can i go uh, and, and have uh, a look on one of the, uh, you know, the, the, the serial, uh, the episode of. So this, that life is made by these two things. But you have to make a balance of both. Now this instant gratification monkey generally delays all the plans. 
or even if you have everything in your life will make you feel bad and maybe i did not have this today when we are sitting here ladies and gentlemen and we are sitting with amiti one of the premier business schools of of, of india a lot of people will think that okay oh my god what a life nothing you know nothing is going nowhere what i thought for but today this amiti honestly of the entire uh, no colleges which is there at least thought about to organize something for you and doing something can be be be, be happy about it. now we are in a situation ladies and gentlemen my next slide will show that you worry for what you don't have is it going to solve any purpose remember life when you have no control or nothing just be happy that you are alive your heart is kicking maybe tomorrow things are fine you can implement yourself you can engage yourself you can push yourself but today the control is yours so many people i see in the in, in the tv these days a lot of frustration happening everyone is frustrated with you can you do anything about it there are people who have to do they are doing it life becomes simple either you trust or you don't trust you have leadership who is doing something try to just trust for the time being because my next slide maybe will show you if not what can happen right so easy said be happy very difficult when you are rejected can you smile maybe may not be. when you when you fail can you still see in the eyes of the people and can walk when you still not got prom- get promoted uh, just the uh, appraisal season has gone by every company has gone got their own strategies uh, the the recuperation plan are quite difficult you will see you know in the times to come how the corporate will try to 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 stabilize itself but things will not be the way it used to be last year or last to last year how can you be frustrated that is the first thing easy simple can you go and kill yourself easy simple i'm telling you ladies and gentlemen in life the way to deal with the tough times is to go through it and that's how it is in my 40 years of life i have not come across any different mechanism to deal with it that the the the, the things of your deepest fears the deepest problems heartbreaks losing people is you have to go through it. you have to suffer and in that suffering if you are still strong you will be happy and day after tomorrow when we look back on all these things you will laugh you will smile right so these small things you should again uh, subtle things small things uh, dense things try to try to think about them i have only one hour with with you people i cannot go too much detail into it okay and then uh, so this is i just spoke about you the purpose right you uh, the thinking you the concepts right now i'll move further deeper with some existing philosophies which you can choose if you want to it is your choice so first thing is this i was i was talking to you if you read a book called seven habits of highly effective people now this is uh, mentioned very categorically uh, clear and which is very apt in the current situation is there is something called circle of influence and there is something called circle of concern a covid is happening we are in a lock uh, no lockdown can you do something about it you cannot do anything about it. there are police guys who are standing outside there you go outside they'll teach you how the life is right but what can so that is a circle of influence you cannot do anything about it. so and but but the, but first it that that instant gratification monkey is pushing you and telling you oh no, my god what a waste of life what a waste of time i have no control over nothing and you get frustrated sitting there and then when shavi tells me that your topic for today is invest in yourself opportunity to upskill can you start thinking from that angle one thing throughout your life you start kept on waiting at one day in life maybe i'll write a book or maybe i i i'll make a video of myself or maybe i'll write a poem or maybe i'll i forget that you know those your relationships with you have till now maybe a friend whom you never spoke after school days or maybe one crush and still you are in touch with can you do that can you just start connecting can just just checking can you do those small things which you every time thought that you would be doing it but every time procrastinated that you don't have time for that that book which was there which you wanted to read maybe you wouldn't say you never did because there's no time everyone gets that 24 hour day today you're locked in you cannot go anywhere so just underline those small things which you every time wanted to do in life and do it now that is called circle of influence sorry i i got it somewhere wrong circle of concern is you have no control over nothing circle of influence is where you can can control so the 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 thing is the proactive focus is you have to push your circle of influence stretch it whatever you can do 
makes you happy. There is a lot of traffic inside if you're going you know, to, to Noida. You cannot do anything about it. You can feel frustrated. I am the person who hates traffic. Last time I went, uh, Sharda invited me and there's one more college it's worth me. Um, uh, I went there. Heavy traffic, you cannot do anything from Gurgaon. To, it, it was me, it was too bad. But what was in my control? I had, a, everyone has a phone. You can plug your earplugs and you can start listening to some music or some inspirational speeches. You can, that is only the thing which is your, or some e-books, which are the, the audio books, which you have. So push your circle of, of influence. What you can, minimize your circle of concern. Will make, make your life simple, easy, happy, right? Don't be reactive, be proactive. It's very simple, very easy said, difficult to do. Try to figure it out. I can only help you with these small examples examples which I have. So minimize the circle of concern, maximize the circle of influence. Makes life. Okay, next. Uh, this is quite a messy slide, a lot of things, but just try, I'll try to make it again coming from the same book. Now, if you make a two by two matrix of uh, important, not important, urgent and not urgent thing, right? And if you, if you figure it out today, then your life, every time many people, the busy people in the life, they say, I'll not have time, I don't have time. Sorry, I missed but it's normal material created by me. It is always ex existing, you know, since quite some time. And this two, two metrics makes life quite simple. The rightmost, bottommost, it is the, 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 blue, the thing in blue, which says you should avoid them. Like it is called the trivia, busy work, junk mails, some phone calls, which can be avoided. It's okay. Time wasters or checking the, the person, uh, you know, all your friends' profiles, how many photographs they have put in, all those things, investigations. So those things you should, it's not important, not urgent, is a wastage of time, maybe minimize it. Okay, don't do that. Now something which is not important, urgent, it's called quadrant, uh, quadrant of deceptions. So interruptions of phone calls currently, if I get them talking to you, can be delayed, right? Some mails, some report which is there in my mind can be delayed, okay? Maybe urgent, but not very important, can, can, can be delayed. Something that's important, not urgent. Like, you know, yesterday night when I was thinking about this, this uh, thing and I, I was busy in, in, in some scheme of activities which I had. This thing was important, not very urgent, so I took some time. I rather took this morning to prepare for this presentation than I would have done it then. And there are a few things which are important and urgent, right, which is which you all know, right? There is some projects which you have to deliver, some crisis situations. Yesterday the thing got extended. I had to give the communication to entire team members, the entire office. So those are urgent things for me. Right, so those things can has is the quadrant of necessity which has to be done. It is your choice. Currently, this mechanism is is available. Read the book, uh, Seven Habits, and try to figure it out what changes it can do in your life. Right, I'm I'm leaving you with this these quadrants. Think about it again and utilize it to the to the maximum when whenever you fathom the depth out of it. Okay, so this is uh, uh, my my second last slide and. Uh, to summarize everything, what we've spoken to now. So one is after the purpose and everything, what you make, the, 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 the purpose, the concepts of life, the philosophy, and the perseverance when you get it. I try to simplify all the things, and this is what I call the circle of continuity. Now remember in life, sometimes you feel elated, sometimes you feel bad, but if you see your life as a, as a sign curve, it goes in continuum, right? Still the time, at least 70, 80 years, whatever we have, right? And then if you have to make a mechanism how to improve yourself, how to live life, how to, how to push yourself, how to, how to uh, invest in yourself. First is, are we aware of these things? So first thing is, the, the thing in the, uh, in the top, uh, where, which says responsibility. Take responsibility of life. That's very important. Starting with the purpose and everything, and take the responsibility. Yes, I'm the person who will change my life. Not your friends, not your mom, not your dad, not your teachers, not your brother, no one. It is you have to take the entire control of your life, right? Once you have done that, then the second thing comes as continuous commitment. And if you were, uh, one subject was very dear to me in college was uh, project management. And an entire life is about project management. Entire corporate is about project management. You'll have timelines, you have activities. Define your entire, break the entire life in the projects, small projects, bucket it put it small, small pieces, and then commit to all the small things. I have a message from someone. I'll take those questions at last, maybe. Uh, so uh, continuous commitment is, is one thing which is 
you, you break down the big portion into small portion, and that's how any project management is done, right? So, and you have continuous commitment, right? and I specifically I'm mentioning this word continuous commitment. Sometimes you outperform, and sometimes you fail, will not give you that happiness ever, right? So it has to be in continuity, together, every time, right? And when you do that continuous commitment, then you will have something called integrity. Now, what is called integrity? Now, integrity is you do what you say, you say what you do. As simple. It's so simple. But how many times you do that? It is an extended commitment. It is a persona, it is a character. You're defined by that, right? So this is what is integrity. Once you show the continued integrity, you will have something called impression. You will define an aura for yourself. People will take you like that. And which is the extended impression is called credibility. And it's a very simple word. They'll say, he's credible or not credible. You can trust and which the, the credibility it takes further to trust. Can you trust? That is very important. The trust factor. Now, someone was telling me, you know, uh, in one organization, Pranav, this organization lacks trust. Can we build it? Easy said, difficult now. The small, small things, right? But when you follow this process, it makes it simple. And with the trust, if they trust you, comes the performance, the elevated performance, right? And with the performance again, when you're performing, comes the responsibility and the circle again goes, and this is called the circle of continuity. Maybe I should patent it. And it has just come, so yesterday night I was thinking and I thought that, okay, maybe I'm trying to connect the dots, whichever I could figure it out in my uh, life so far, may make some sense for you, may not. And with this, Gaurav, you're telling me something or it's okay? Are we okay? Uh, G -G, yes. Uh, do you want to play the video now? Yes. And, and uh, this is a last thing uh, from my side to all of you. Uh, on, on my count of three, one, two, three, I'll request uh, the team there to play the this video. I know uh, this is one small, this is a souvenir fact which I thought that I, I should bring to you people. Uh, you remember those moral science classes which used to be there? I don't know nowadays they have it or not. Uh, there was a song. The song was We Shall Overcome. Now, it is a song of faith. And this tough time, I'm not here to give you some gyan, but this, this song is quite beautiful. Well sung by Maria Fidelis, gospel poet. And many times, if my in my tough times when I'm disoriented, I I listen to the song. You have the Hindi version also, which is which is available. The English version, I'm I'm trying to leave it with you people. Uh, quite soothing, quite important for us to understand. Every word is quite important for us to understand, right? Uh, I know that this is this is not a song of hope. This is a song of faith, and there's a lot of difference between hope and faith, right? So. Uh, the last thing, have faith in life. That is very important. And I'm leaving you, all of you, with this song in your mind. Uh, maybe it will bring peace to all of you. So on the, on, on the count of three, can we play this song, uh, gentlemen and ladies? Uh, can I, one, two, three, can we play the song, please?
So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This was from my side. And if any questions, I can I can take. And thank you. Sure. Uh, so what I'll do, uh, Pranav, is that we have uh, some questions asked by our students and faculty members. So I'll yeah. just uh, read that out to you, and then yes, you can, uh, respond. So uh, the first question is by Johar, and she asked, what, according to you, is the role of destiny in our success? Oh, very difficult question. Role of destiny. Uh, if you If you bifurcate yourself and the destiny, then of course it has got a big role to play. But if you take destiny as you, if you remember the first, uh, uh, the second or third slide which I showed was, there was a hand, there was a palm, and you create your own destiny, right? So if you take destiny on, and you are together, then it has got no role to play. You create your own destiny, right? So there is not called luck, or with that someone will make you something. It is you will make something, and if the destiny is not so kind and so in favor of you, you create your own destiny as simple as that. So if you ask to, maybe uh, the army, you know, emotions are coming out, but, but that's how it is. I, I, I don't know if I, if I answer the question. Uh, I have the next question by our faculty member, uh, Ms. Kavita Thaplia. She says, Captain Prasun, good morning. Thank you for such a wonderful presentation. Thank you. Uh, so Professor Kavita Thaplia asks, what, uh, you know, what are the essential skills and MBA HR students should learn to upskill themselves in this lockdown period. <laughs> uh, there's the end number of it, but uh, to make it simple, and uh, if this question is asked, I, I mentioned many times uh, this thing. The first thing is listening skills, very important, uh, which you have to hone up. Many times in life, we are, we are, we are so anxious to talk, but listening skills are very important. Being in HR, there are cases where every employee will come and, 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 and will come with some problems, with some grievance. First, try to figure it out. Just, I don't know from where so that they will be coming in. Listen to whatever he has to say. And the second, that is the first thing which I say, you have to be observant. You have to have great listening skills, number one. Number two is the, the business acumen. Nowadays, HR is not away from the business. You have to have your KPIs and the understanding of the business aligned to the business itself. Your objectives, everything has to be aligned to the business. You're not here, then these are not the days they are just you are here to hire people and take care of your payrolls. You have to make, uh, you have to be part of the strategy building of the company. And which comes from the business acumen. And this was the right time. I can give you enough examples where, where HR can play a crucial role in the current situation. A lot of things are being thought about, the, the, uh, you know, uh, the, the contingency planning and everything, where HR has a great role to play. So the second important point, which I'll say, would be business acumen. Thank you, Pranav. The other question that is asked by Varun Ashok is, uh, you know, that he says that uh, right now uh, the COVID-19 situation is going on, there's lockdown, and there is also talk of uh, the recession that might uh, follow uh, whenever the lockdown ends. So the opportunities uh, could be less. So how students should tackle with this environment or with this situation? Uh, so I'll not uh, uh, increase your anxiety further. Things will be in place, but of course, as I mentioned, there will be new normal. It will be not the same as the way it used to be. Because currently we know, know the, how much you know, uh, uh, there was an impact of this. Everyone is trying to figure it out. But things are just not working. We're just not doing anything. If you say productions and manufacturings for that matter. Uh, uh, so we have to start again from there. Uh, so here, when I say first is be positive, things will be fine. It's okay. Uh, there will be, uh, you know, it will, it is just a phase. It will, it, will, it will phase out. But there will be a time when things will be okay, normal. This time, whatever you have, try to try to train yourself to the best. Check on the the skills currently, which are more in demand. When I say more in demand, you know, where the analytical skills, digital skills, which is which is not too much taught to you in the academy, right, can be you know taken now. And I see there's a lot of surge in the surge in, in, in the usage of such you know uh, training platforms per se to prepare yourself. If I say the second thing which I'll focus here is also 
start thinking on a lot of entrepreneurship when i see you might would have you know following a lot of news on this a lot of things which might come from uh, the countries uh, which i not mention anything but the, the jobs or, or the the plans which have been shifted there you can think that what role your entrepreneur entrepreneurship today can apply on those things and it will coming very soon now the only thing is whosoever is well prepared well planned well thought of will take the flight those who are still in the process of thinking will not so current i am telling you again whenever after third there will be lot of things which will be happening so start trickling your entrepreneurship brain also uh, currently getting a job will take some time because you have to align everything the cash flow and everything has to start the supply chain has to start so many other things but in this entire scenario you start thinking that what value addition you as a fresh graduate can bring to the entire system and if you start thinking such positively i think there is umpteen opportunity which which uh, which can be figured it out and i leave it to you people but yeah things are will not be completely so heavy and bad things will be moving and every corporate is aware of this we are also thinking that you know there are a lot of students what value propositions can or how should we utilize them so i know that it will be a, a a thing of distress a panic button is there in every one of us you know it is it is uh, thinking of the community people are there so with that take as i told take the things in your hand try also thinking how you can add value don't think that okay just get a job and that's how my life will go it will change but start thinking what value addition can you bring in the entire scenario start thinking from that angle yeah thanks madam i think we will take the last question it is interesting yeah. uh, and a long one let me try and summarize and see what our student is trying to ask so it's asked by akshita uh, kaushal so she says that you know all of us have uh, 24 hours in a day so yeah. how much time should we be spending working on ourselves how much time should we be spending each day achieving our dreams because successful people also have 24 hours with them so what that they do different that we do not do and how they are able to achieve their dreams oh my god this is quite a very difficult what is the name uh it's akshita kaushal akshita it is very difficult maybe i i will have to write a book to answer you uh, but yeah the, in the typical small time what we have i try my level best to uh, to answer that uh yes the truth is everyone has got 24 hours a day and maybe 70 to 80 years of age which and and the so called the profound life only starts let's say post uh, your grad or whatever it is i'll keep it simple uh, people can challenge me for that but yes uh, generally after your post grad and graduation whatever the, the real life will start post that uh to develop your entire life has to be even it is less to develop you yeah again if if i have to sell that book i have to tell you seven habits the last habit is sharpen your shop and that has to continuously happening throughout your life right but what quantum how many hours when i say uh, if you see that uh, two by two matrix which i showed it to you and you define it there is n of time which is available n of time now what do you want to you know uh, 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 improve is also point of concern right and there are times when even people the age they don't know that what they are good at and what they are not good at first is have you got the pen down or jotted down the things you are not good at and are good at that is quite an important thing the small exercise to start doing that and then you think that what you are not good at start investing time in that how much time you will give give to yourself and to your dreams dreams of course if if you want to challenge the status quo and be something which you want to become that is the wildest dream then and you know how rational irrational thinking and that uh, that instant gratification monkey is sitting there in you so think on those angles too maybe uh, you know something it is just you know you just uh, it, it is not your aim and dream and desire to go and check what is there in the fridge and and maybe you know to to check one episode of uh, something which is there in netflix but how much time so if you manage all these things you'll get some time which is quite sizable and if you have figured it out those things you are not good at and if you focus them there you are fine 
generally, and I'm telling you, this is a time of uh, 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 not a huge learning, bite-sized learning, micro-learning, which is there in, 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 uh, in, uh, in popularity. And if I have to talk some statistics, I'll tell you, people say that even 15 minutes in a week, it's not that tough. If you are able to invest and do whatever you love to do, it will make you balanced. It will not make you normal. It will make you balanced. Right? So even that amount of learning, if, you, if you're adding, you know, that, is, that is quite sufficient. But it totally depends on what is your density and heaviness of the dreams and desires of what you have. If it requires enough, for example, today my dream is to uh, go and, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, beat Bolt, then my 15 minutes in a week is not sufficient. Or maybe to, to become uh, uh, you know, Tata's or Birla's or Apple's, then my 15 minutes is not, not sufficient. So it completely depends on, 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 on that. Uh, there are enough things which is available, how to push it further. Uh, but I, it, it, this, the, the time which I have been given with, I don't think it will suffice it. So uh, currently, if I have to leave this with you, I'll only limit uh, my answer in this. But we can take it further. It is quite a huge and a vast uh, question. Uh, I know that I have not answered it well, but this is how, I, if I have to uh, answer it, I will answer it. Thank you, Pranav. Uh, yes. Uh -huh.